Hey everyone, Mateusz Castello here and I'm back to the channel and I want to show to you guys something cool today. So, as you can see, I have here on my band today a Raspberry Pi 5 running Windows CA or Windows Compact Edition, right? Um, and uh, yeah, it's very, it's very cool because um, let me show to you guys um, I can do stuff here, right? I can, yeah, let me put the camera on a bit more close to the screen. Nice. So let me open my device. Okay. And then, oh, the gain is a bit high. Let me, yeah. Okay, so let me go into the SD card. And then I have here, um, I don't know, I don't know if is yeah let me put some zoom here so you can see that there is a youtube vb ce right so i i developed a very simple visual basic smart device um application uh, i have it here so yeah you guys should see the same window um there right so let's run it let me run the application nice yeah it's exactly the same uh windows form application but this is accessing the harder on the Raspberry pi somehow right so if i um if i click here right you can see that it's turning on and off my blue LED here, right? Nice. Uh, what more I can show? Yeah, let me close uh, this. Let me go to the oops, settings, control panel, system, all right. Yeah, and then you can see that somehow the processor type there is a Raspberry Pi 5, right? Yeah, so that's it. Um, Raspberry Pi 5 running Windows Compact Edition. But if you want to know how this is possible, stay with me. So there is somehow uh, to Windows C uh, running here on the Raspberry Pi 5 and how this is possible, okay? Um, this is something weird because first of all, the Windows CE um, was deprecated by Microsoft. Second, there is no support for 64-bit uh, devices, right? Um, so it's impossible to import or write the BSP um, word support package for um, hardware that is 64-bit um, processor, right? Um, but yeah, if I go here and uh, like suspend or turn on, yeah, you can see that I'm back to the Raspberry Pi OS. So there is a trick here, right? Um, so let me back here um, for my screen, right? And then I can show to you guys how this is possible, right? So it's running Kimu, it's a virtual um, machine um, um, application, right? So there is this board support package for TV Express A15, all right? So um, to you run the Windows CE in a hardware, you have to have this port, this board support package, right? This BSP, and um, some vendors have this, some others no, and then you had to write um, the drivers for access, for example, serial um, screen stuff, and etc. So I find uh, this project on. GitHub 
from my mylac7 so you can go on github.com slash mylac7 slash wincc chemo that the board support package for vexpress is there right so you get it and then build it on visual studio using the platform builder right with some um modifications to run here uh this day right uh yeah and how this is working right because i'm accessing the hardware from the raspberry Bear pi os right how i'm doing this from my application side so i have a script right this script runs uh the chemo system arm uh so it spin up um, my windows ce image right and then point the processor or the virtual um, processor to um, the entry point from the windows ce right so this is run and then the board support, the board support package implements um, three serial right the one is used for the kernel log another one is for the application the com one and another one is for the kernel debugger so you can uh, use serial to directly breakpoint or do something uh, remotely under visual studio 2008 and your windows c okay and then my script is accessing the output uh, from my COM1, right? So my application, my Visual Basic application, when I click here, is um, only writing to the serial port COM1, right? It's simply um, outputting on and off uh, to the serial, and then my script is getting these strings and GPIO set one and zero uh, to the GPIOs, right? It's it's only this, right? Another stuff that was pretty cool is um, how I, I put there on the processor type uh, the Raspberry Pi Five. So this is generic; it's not hard coded, right? Because I my script also passed to the Kimu a loader or it loads a file that has only chars on only characters right so it gets the model from the device tree and glued it to the run and then my bsp is reading directly this address and getting uh, this um, i can demonstrate this um, for example it can go there um, let me Mm, no, I have this, yeah, dev bin, right? If I catch the dev bin, you can see that it's only Raspberry Pi 5. So I can write, um, I think that is echo and e, and uh, for example, YouTube zero. Okay, to the dev bin, nice. So now my dev bin is YouTube. And if I run my script again, this will run to Windows CE, right? Nice. Let me put some zoom here because I want to only show that now here on settings control panel. Oops, settings. Oh, settings control panel system. Yeah, you can see that now is YouTube. Right, because my script is um, injecting uh, this directly to the Kimu um, mapped or the memory run is mapped on this address. So let me show here uh, the actually um, the go right no no go shell yeah. So you can see here that I have this device loader and i pass the address for the start of the run uh, the v express uh, the memory run, run is mapped to this address right 
and then I'm loading the Windows C flatted um, image there and passing the entry point so my pointer or the processor uh, for the next inst instruction will be pointing to these others and also I'm loading the dev beam that has my generic um, stuff um, or my generic processor type name um, so I can read it directly from my uh, BSP, my word support package. Another cool stuff that I, I do here or this workaround or tricky, right, that I, uh, I did here on this is that I'm writing when I, uh, let me run again this script. When I run, yeah, so it started, nice. If I go here on start and suspend, my board supported package is writing power off on that others. So um, I don't know if I can show here. Oops. Yeah, that the it's so small here the font size of the Visual Studio, but. I have my IO control here and on IO control I have this uh, where is yeah, is, is, yeah. I have here uh, this call for the suspend and then I'm getting the address hard coded and then passing it or writing on this address power off right so my script can get this power off and then kill uh, the key move, right? But we can, for example, go here. Yeah, you can see that I'm doing PQ key move, but we can, for example, uh, power off power off now, why not, right? So yeah, now um, I think that we need to run it as a sudo and I don't have permissions for other stuff. From the temp, chemo, output log. So whatever, um, let, let's, let's run it. I think that this will not work because we will not have the permission to turn off the device. But yeah, let's try. Uh, suspend. Power off, too many arguments in this queue or application, but not power off the device, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not power off now. It's shoot down now, right? But anyway, we will need the um, privileges, right? So let's let's run again. Uh, yeah, and this on um, turn off uh, my device. So I'm using the same, right? Or backwards right to so so I have my best P when it receives um, the command the IO control to suspend the device it writes on these address that is a shared uh, address between Tikimu and um, my uh, Windows C it writes power off there my script reads it and then turn off uh, my device so um, uh, yeah it's it's nice to show uh, let me turn on again the device how how I'm reading it back right because um, when I load the chemo it's easy right so 
when I load the Kimo is pretty easy, right? You can see here uh, that I'm loading the file there, but when I turn off my Windows CE, when I receive the suspend from the IO control, my BSP is writing to uh, the same address, right? This address. Uh, but how I'm I'm getting it back, right? So I have here another trick, right? So I'm uh, using the monitor of the, of the Kimo, right? So you can see here that I'm spinning um, Telnet for the monitor, and then I can send this command to read that area or that others and check if the charge there has power off and then i can uh, so the power off right yeah so i think that is it right thanks a lot uh to watch this video if you like don't forget to subscribe to the channel because yeah i'm back and i have more ideas and more new videos more exciting stuff to show to you guys so if you like this kind of content this hacky hackish engineering stuff development and um for embedded embedded linux and uh, other stuff yeah subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video bye bye